business, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh, no. I've never been so open-minded. And I get this. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and this is Funfetti, my brand new chaotic crazy kid kawaii food island. And today we are going to be getting the first smug villager. I'm super excited. I have a lot of options that I would not mind getting that range from Huck to Pietro to Ed. I mean, honestly, these are the criteria. If I haven't had them before, and if I think that they're like decently cute, I will be happy. But do I get a choice? No. Tom Nook has already decided for me exactly who's coming to the island. And I get no choice. It's, it's looking chaotic already. Oh my gosh, Mabel's so cute when she fluffs her hair. Speaking of Mabel, look what I have in my pockets. So that means that we can put it down. I actually had kind of like deja vu because I feel like she was there because this is the rollover to a new week. So she was here like two days ago and then she's back. Daisy May is also here. Her turnips are overpriced. I think I'm gonna put the Abel sisters on the beach over here with room to spare. Oh, that's a cute dress that they had in the window of that little preview. And now it's time for a tour around the beautiful Funfetti. What kind of chaotic collections have you thought of this time, Taya? Just a flamingo reading a book over here. Random cone, Stonehenge, drum kit in front of a chalkboard, you know. This alarm clock is my most treasured item on this island, okay? My most treasured possession is this alarm clock right here because Jambet gave it to me. Oh. Jambet blessed it. She's so cute. She's such a good girl. I love her. And that concludes our tour. Back to the campsite building. To think that we started with a deserted island and have grown into a bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. Oh yes, I have big plans. Tell me more. Oh ho ho, got your attention. Hmm, our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician KK Slider come and put on a show here on Funfetti. Taya, I'm sure you know who KK is, yes? Not a clue. What, are you serious? His songs are constantly playing on the radio and yet somehow you've never heard of KK? Then this means you have yet to experience listening to his deep discography for the first time. In a way, I'm almost jealous. Ah, sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan. Back to our goal. If we hold a KK concert, Funfetti could become a household name. I call it Project K. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents, and we'll create a Funfetti so loved. Word of how great this island is will reach KK, and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. We'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. Smart. A campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here, and it'll make for great PR material too. Business bro. With that in mind, could you get out your phone, Taya? And done, I sent you the recipe for a campsite construction kit. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for a new campsite. I'm counting on you. You always are counting on me and I always deliver. Bye. One more piece of softwood. Why is softwood like the bane of my existence? And also I just realized that the lines below like separating each of the items are actually like progress bars. See how this one's like a little bit shorter showing that I don't have enough of that. It's a fun little detail that I never noticed before. Like this game every single day is like something cute and fun and like new. This island is anti softwood. I guess I could do the fruit trees. Why do I always forget? Just pick up the fruit. Oh, the fruit trees got the soft wood. Okay, cool. Campsite, let's go. Can I put it here? Can I put it even closer? Can we just cram as many buildings on this beach as possible? Oh yeah, 
perfect. Squish this thing right in the middle here. Now that that's taken care of, let's go say hello to some of the cuties that I have on the island already. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, what a baby. Hey, sorry about the mess. I ain't got time to clean today. Check it out, plans for a rose crown. Oh my gosh, he has little gray eyes when he's all shocked. That's a really intense shocked face. Hello. Look at our girl. I cannot even, I, honestly, I'm just shook by this. Every time I see her on this island, I'm like, I, at first I was like, am I going to be upset that I don't have a new villager on this island? It, it's Jambet. How can I, how can I be upset? And we've also got my brand new baby girl. I am so, so, so happy that you came. Living on the island is so fab. I mean, basically the queen bee. Girl, we know who the queen is on this island, girl. Very cute. She's really adorable. Muffy and um, Tutu were like having a bit of a fight. They didn't actually fight because I was talking with them, so I was able to mitigate the drama. What brings you here? I, I live here. Some days I get myself super hyped, like just ready and raring to go. Take a nap, Nightshade. <laughs> or re I read that completely wrong. Oh my gosh, apparently all my brain cells are done. Hey, you found a spot for the shop. Thanks so much, Taya. Once we're all, oh, once we're all set up and everything, I hope you'll swing by and support me and my sister. Afternoon, guy. You doing good? This weather really gets the muscles glistening, guy. I didn't, that's too much information, Stinky. Just way too much information. Now the location is settled, I can proceed with construction. Tomorrow we'll have a wonderful campsite for visitors. How exciting! The builder's work ethic is better than any country's. <laughs> exactly. I saw this one uh, funny like meme of like these raccoons crawling all over a building at night and they're like, every raccoon is either planning a heist or in the middle of a heist. <laughs> Tom Nook and the boys renovating our, your house in the middle of the night. They're just climbing all over the house. <laughs> Where were we? That was a good sidebar. Curlo's shirt. Let's buy it. Maybe we'll get Curlo's on the campsite. Next day. The campsite is built. Oh, now for today's announcement. Starting today, fun videos is the very own campsite. Did you make the sprinkle cheeks? I did. I did make the sprinkle cheeks. I made this like fun fetty sweater and I made the sprinkle cheeks. I then spent a good portion of time working on a dress that was based on the sweater that I made. You will notice these colors come into play later. Just keep that in mind, these teal colors. Campsite. Able Sisters under construction. I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. Please be somebody good. Please be somebody good. When we have a guest, a tent will go up at the campsite, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. These throwback wrestling figures are highly chaotic. Who is he behind the mask? I am not going to buy a standing toilet. Or will I? Yes, I will. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna buy the standing toilet. But the one thing I was gonna say that I learned about uh, luchadors is that it's like a huge thing that people, even in their day-to-day -day lives, they don't take off the mask. They assume that personality. They live that life all the time. Time travel it. That mask is probably very stinky and smelly. I know, right? Like hopefully they have a few. You gotta know that it's a little bit hot in Mexico. You gotta be sweating in that mask, dude. I can't imagine wearing a mask all the time. I guess that explains Stinky's name. Oh, now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor stay at the campsite. The Able Sisters tailoring shop opened. We need to put some Carlos clothes on. Okay, this is the vibe for the smug campsite villager. Oh, Flick is here. Oh my gosh, yes. Best day ever. Able Sisters open. I got tons of wasps to sell to you, sir. Campsite, oh my gosh, Jambette, comfort me. Oh, she's like, I'm gonna move away. You don't get to just take a picture of me. Oh my gosh. That is a very chaotic outfit in Able Sisters right now, and I'm living for it, and all of my villagers need one. 
She's just showing social distancing. This is the moment, guys. Somebody that I haven't had before and is cute. Those are the criteria. It's not a lot. I'm not asking for a lot. This is it. Drum roll. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, let's go. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, there were so many that I was okay with. I've never been so open-minded. And I get this. Chaotic, that's for sure. My sister-in-law ended up loving him. Every island needs a creepy old dude. Bonjourno. The name's Beardo. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. You've ruined it for everybody. And you live on this island, don't you? Yeah, I figured. I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really gonna enjoy having me here. Whiskers, I've gotten really used to the fun, fetty life. I don't even want to go home. And I have 210 thread count sheets on my bed there. That's not a lot, though. But wait, he he's your color, I know. Yeah, he matches your t-shirt dress. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. I cursed myself. You should live here. Wow, I'm honored. An exclusive invitation to an exclusive island for celebrities and entourages? <laughs> Can you go check with like the VIP manager of this whole island first, just so I know this is legit? Sure thing. Guten tag. My fate is in your hands. Ha <laughs> ha! What's that supposed to mean? You don't trust my hands? Dude, I built this campsite. I built this campsite so your hairy self could sleep in this campsite. I built it for you. Tom, what did you do? Ah, Taya, hello, hello. Don't be chummy with me, okay? Today we have our first campsite. Oh, no, 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 no. We did it, okay? I did it. He wants to live here. Are you happy? Now, Taya. Since you closed the deal with our visitor, you should be the one to pick the location for a new home. Oh, where can I put this man? On the highest cliff inside a cave. <laughs> put him in the garbage. <laughs> put him in the ocean, maybe. He's literally going back here, shoved right back here. This is where he's going. I mean, he's got a water feature in front of his house, but like, I don't feel like this is where he would want. Build a dump next to his house. Oh my gosh, I totally am going to. The actual awesome plot twist would be that Beardo grew on you and he would be loved. <laughs> we'll put a dump right beside it. Do I have anything that's like garbagey that I could set down here? There you go. There's your decoration, Beardo. Welcome to Funfetti. This guy is here to just stare into your soul. That's your yard there, Beardo. Enjoy. <laughs> Ahoy. <laughs> That's a little bit of a local flavor for you. It means what's up, whiskers? Seriously, you got me a personal red carpet and my own VIP cabana? His shocked face is unsettling. That's Beardo for an invitation and my own place to live. <laughs> And now I really gotta get back to my own island and get my things in order. Hasta la vista, Taya. <sniffs> Retail therapy, that's what we need. Retail therapy. So I went in to say hello to the dear Mabel and Sable. Accidentally chose to wear this outfit. Uh, it's a whole look. I ended up buying star costumes, which is what I'm wearing here for each one of my villagers. I didn't get to gift everybody, but I did gift a few of them today. And the other ones, minus Beardo, I gifted on other times playing by myself. Stinky looks so adorable in his star costume. I gave our dear Muffy the black and purple star costume, and I think she looks absolutely stunning in it. 
and the only other villager that we were able to gift today was Sasha, and I'm not thrilled with the colors, but he still looks freaking adorable, as always. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching today. That is going to do it for today. I'm going to try to get everybody into star costumes. That is my mission. That is my goal, except for Beardo. He can leave. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody!